Good afternoon, MMTs and our trading staff around the world and everyone in the U.S. as well. Let us tell you that the S&P and the government shutdown and the government volatility that played its role is today is that we hit our resistance at 1710 and we came back down. Now, granted that this is a weekly chart and we had that nice correction that we said that we were going to get, but government volatility, as we said, they're not going to shut down the government. They're not going to default, and we have said that all along. Once again, it's the government playing out the volatility. The earnings season is here upon us. 70 companies this week are reporting in the S&P 500. As we have clearly stated, that the earnings have hit a trough level, meaning that from 2009 to current, we have grown the earnings in an exp and a very good multiple expansion, and we have. However, we're toward the end of that now. Publicly traded companies in the S&P 500 have cut the bottom line, cost cutting. They got to grow these profits and continue to grow them through the top line. What we will say is that the S&P 500 had a bull year so far in 2013. Back when we started shorting the S&P way back in year 2000 we've been around 30 years and we've seen it all we've heard it all and what i can say is that there will be a lot of bear funds that we are putting together in calendar 2014 because yes earnings will grow a little bit more but they're not going to grow in a multiple expansion like they have the last five years let it be known and one of the things that we would like to update our new guys and girls is that you have to learn about corporate profits and why markets have had a great run and how they grew those earnings. The government has a lot of problems. They can't get their house in order. There's going to be more volatility, but corporate of America will deal with corporate profits. They've been okay for the last five years. Uh, some have missed and s along the way, but there's going to be a lot of upsets in this quarterly earnings. Volatility that is created in markets is by all of the headlines that are coming out every five minutes with your government. What I can say, we called for correction here. We called for correction here, and we called for the October correction down to these bottoms that hit our target, and we bounced up in the volatility. The bull is in play. However, the bear is in play as well. So when you take a look at the daily chart, you can see where that rally was. This is a short that we called. And we rallied up here. Now, having said that, we have covered all of the indexes clearly on the S&P 500. Here was the last update over the weekend on 1013. Before the fact, people, not after the fact. Before the fact and understanding how volatility is going to play out makes you money. All of the analysis are here before the fact. Okay, and we had big drops in stocks that were overbought. They needed to come down, and they did. And we have all the live analysis and trades to prove it. And then they bounce off of the bottom. You get two sides of volatility to make money. When they're extremely overbought and they drop $20, $30 off the high, when they get oversold, you get 15 to $25 off the bottom, you come out a winner both ways. You just have to know how to maneuver through the environment. That's number one. So we encourage you to go and take a look at all of the government stuff. The daily chart from that correction, we've had one, two, three pullbacks that we have called every time. You can make money using... 
the put options when they're overbought, and you can also buy calls on the S&P and make a lot of money that way. You can make money both. Now that we have that daily reversal bar, the government's going to come out with a resolution. But I can tell you that 1730 was the high. Earnings season is not going to be cracked up what the bull think it's going to be because a lot of stocks are priced to perfection, meaning that their valuations are priced in the current quarterly environment. And there's going to be 70 companies that report this week alone. And then the following week, there'll be another bulk of the S&P 500 companies. Corporate of America has done well. They've been buying back their stock on their repurchase buyback programs this year. But 2014 is going to be quite different, and I can tell you right now. So beware that the government volatility is in full swing. I will tell you that the first support level will be 1680 after 50 day simple moving average again that any upside as I have said clearly in the other analysis that we've been doing will be right below that 1720 and once we get overbought look at when we have the the pull back up here we we bought put options and did well and we told all our trading staff had to make money before the fact, before the move ever even happens, not afterwards. That doesn't do you any good. What does you good is knowing how to buy the bottom up, as we did. We got overbought once again, folks. On a daily level, we got overbought in this government volatility. And today, when things didn't go right, you had a nice pullback in the S&P 500. Look at first area support 1680. When we break it, we got 1662. The lower end of the volatility that could play out between now and calendar year is how we break below that 1630 handle. And what the broader part of the S&P 500 cash earnings are going to bring the rest of this earnings season that has just now started. So we had a 0.71% drop, down 12.08 in the S&P. I'll cover the Dow, and I'll cover the NASDAQ 100, and I'll also let you know that the Russell 2000 made another series of all-time highs. Those are small cap little guys, and they too are going to have problems. Quarterly earnings just won't be a total collapse. But right now, this is a soft quarter. And 2014 is not going to be like 2013. You can kiss that goodbye. Markets will be totally different in calendar 2014. And we will give you lots of analysis between now and then, all to our MMTs and our trading staff. If you want to open up a trading account, we give you money to trade with, and we train you with live entries and exits. All you have to do is click right here on one of them, open an account, and it talks about everything it takes for you to open an account and learn how to trade options and equities. Once again, all of the analysis is here on the S&P and how do you put volatility and make money with volatility. Bull runs bear runs sideways it doesn't matter earning season it's all there and it's all here for you